Uh, we're picking up some pork for her. Uh, we're cooking a little uh, birthday deal up in the province here. 600. 600. 600. Okay, sweetheart, where are we and what are you up to now? I'm here in Tobago. In the old province house where you grew up. Right yeah. here in Tobago. Yes, yeah. so I'm here. Your, you're making a little birthday lunch for yourself. Yes. When was your birthday? Two days ago? 21, 22, 23. <laughs> Two days. Two days ago. All right. So she's reached the ripe old age of 33. We start to get some shrimp and some pork, a I vegetables, have cucumber. a cake, it's a cucumber, cucumber, one of my favorites. Yeah. Today we thought we would give everyone uh, a little bit of, uh, oh, a little reminiscences here from Jovi about uh, early province life. Uh, you were born in 1991. Yeah. You lived here your whole life. Yes, right? yes. Up on top of this hill. Yes. Okay. All right, so uh, now you told me that until uh, sometime more recently that you had, there was no electricity here, there was no power, mm -hmm. and you had no, there was no running water, they just ran the uh, water line no up here. No electricity, no water. All right, so what, uh, what year was it or how long ago was it when they got electricity up here? When I was... 2000, wait, uh, 2001, 2002. Okay. Yes. So it was over 20 years ago. They finally got power run up here. Yeah. All right. And then the water. When did they get the water here? Maybe 2016. 2016. All right. So now, before you had power, you had kerosene lamps up here. Yes. Use, right? Yeah. All right. And then... As far as the water is concerned, you had to go into the valley behind us here. I'm going to show you the story with this. But she had to, she had to go down into this valley here in order to get uh, water. She had to go fetch water. Now, how how often did you go down there and fetch the water? Maybe before they have a way. This the. Uh go there, we go there, go down there in the highway, they have a highway there in the road, and we need to go down. Where is the rice field there? You have seen the rice field? Okay. It's there. All right. So, there's no longer a path over here. I guess it's overgrown. But she, uh, she would go down to the bottom of this hill and travel over there. And down in the valley is, it's sort of a, sort of a reservoir thing. What do you call it? Balloon. Balloon. Yeah. There's that's, a balloon. That is not a river. That's called that. I have, know it's not a river. We have a small. Uh, it's a little river. reservoir. Yeah. And you wash, you wash your clothes, and you could get water down there. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, how often would you go down there to get water? Every day? Every two days? Morning, and afternoon. Morning, twice a day. Yeah, every day, my love. I can go down here every day. Okay. They have go morning and the afternoon. All right. Then they uh, bring a container, small container or big container into my hand. Do you got any of those containers? Yeah, I can carry that in two hands. Do you have them still yeah, here? Yeah, I have we'll them. We'll find some containers. We'll show you. Two of those full? No, they have one liter. This, they have one, one liter. Well, that's now. Yes. That's a little bit more than one yeah, liter. Yeah, but there. this one, if we bring also this one. There, go down there in the deep, then you carry it in the... Okay. Or sometimes, right, you know minute. what you do? Sometimes, put here in the shoulder again. Okay. Carry that in the shoulder. Alright, well that, that thing's, uh, gosh, I'm going to say it's two and a half or three gallon. So you would you would bring one of the, you couldn't bring more than one of those full. Yeah, sometimes I bring this one, one this one container, sometimes two, one, uh, one gallons. Then the one here, one there, this I can carry well, in my hands. <laughs> you would carry as much as you could carry up yeah. here. Right? Yes. All right now and then you went down there and did the wash. Yeah, then rest than five minutes. Okay, how, how often would you go down there to do wash? Well, how often? Twice a week? 
Every week, my love. One week, every one week. Every every week. Yeah. We bring a load of laundry down there. Yes. All right. Because Saturday, because they had no school, then Monday to Saturday, so Monday to Saturday, uh, Friday, we we uh, we need to go to school. Then Saturday, we need to work in the house, wash laundry, get water. Then every morning before we go to school, we go there, get water, and go take shower. Whether you need to or not. Yeah. And then. And then in the afternoon, you would go back down there again. Yes, we go back again. Or you would get whipped, or you wouldn't eat. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Well, uh, we're going to we're going to try and go down. Yeah, we try going down later, later, later. Yeah, I guess maybe when we when we leave here or something, since there's no path that you can walk on anymore. Yeah. It was a well-worn path at one time. Right, I have this one. All right, so yeah. This is how we work the rice here. This the rice okay. here. So now we looked into the rice situation before. You're supposed to walk on it. All right. So it, it just it, it takes one day to, to dry this out. Yeah, this one, one day, day or two and this days. is dried no, out. We huh? have a good sun. No. Good sun. Then we can dry in one, the in one day you can dry this rice out here. Okay. Oops. All right. And then you take it to the mill. It's pretty dry. It's pretty dry right now. All right. If they dry, if he, if you want to know how if they dry, you know what you do? You need to peel the skin. Yeah. All right, but back when you were, back when you were a kid, you did you rely more on this kind of rice rather than going to store to buy rice? Yeah. Yeah. Look, sometimes they have, we don't have rice, we eat uh, cassava, you know, and sweet Church. potato. Oh, okay. Yeah, before yeah. we don't have rice, uh, my father is the, sometimes the salary my father is not enough. Then we eat cassava and kamote, sweet, uh, sweet potatoes. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah. One more. One more? One more dry. Okay, one more dry. All yeah. Right. So when this is dry, then you take it to a rice mill. Yes. Mm. And but your your mom is involved in harvesting this rice. Yeah, my, my mom, maybe 12, 13. You need to go back to over to here, harvest there, oh. You have seen the rice field there? My mom go there, harvest the rice field. Off in the distance there. Yeah. She goes to that rice field. Yes. Go there to the... How is she going to get there? Is, is Joanne going to take her on the motorbike? Yes, Joanne bring them. Mm. I'm so lucky that I have motorbike because they can pick up my mom, they can bring my mom there. Yes, it's very versatile. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, there's Dunkoy on the move again. It's already done here, I guess. Yeah. And we got the uh, vintage chopping board wait. here. What? Fork liver. Mmm. Fishy. Alright, let's see. Get this pork on the grill. Wow. Ooh, then when they cook stuff on a grill, they cook it right on top of them coals. Right, keep an eye on it. I'm gonna try a little piece of that. Yeah, you can try it. Look at Dunkoy. <laughs> Dunkoy. <laughs> Dunkoy wants some. Do you want to try some, Dunkoy? Okay. Dunkoy, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Don't quite like it. Is this like an appetizer? Yes. Yeah? You want more, my love? No. Okay, the table is set. 
It goes that it's a Boudou fight. This is going to be another Boudou fight here. You need to throw out some rice, some mango, and some more meat. Well, I can tell you one thing, they do not mess around. When he brings some food up here, it is cooked and ready to eat within about, uh, we got here maybe a half hour ago. <laughs> And we're ready to rack and roll. <laughs> Dunko's eating the whole shrimp. He's a great <laughs> Dunkai doesn't waste any time. Dunkai got right in there. <laughs> My official shrimp peeler. Look, look, Dunkai. What's the matter? Dunkai, you're pepino. Come on. Hmm? Hmm? You want to give me um, give me a little piece of one of them pork chops. This way. Yeah, let me let me try that. That's good. Oh, no, no, Look who showed up, he's got some falafel. <laughs> yeah. Falafel. Yeah, give me, give me a cookie. A little falafel. Good stuff. The big bottle's eight. How much is the little one? That's how much the little one is. 30. 30? 30? 30 pesos? 30 pesos? <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, it's the better part of a dollar for that one. Dunko the Destroyer. That's my royal Dunko. Dunko is hungry, feed him already. What does he want? <laughs> Give him something. I don't think that's what he wants, huh? <laughs> Cucumber? Oh, no. Don't is a growing young boy. <laughs> <laughs> Peel Dunkway some shrimp, honey. Dunkway, does, he doesn't want the vegetables as much as he wants some shrimp. Watch this. Okay, 
My guys haven't gone on Oh, he's spitting, <laughs> spitting out the cucumber, oh. making, making room for the shrimp in there. There you go. <laughs> 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 What's the matter? What, what is he spitting out? The, the charcoal, like this one, the bones. Oh, that was bones? Well, don't, give, don't give Dunk away the bones. He needs the liver. I don't know, there's more than anything up on the floor here by Don Kawhi. Blessed 33. <laughs> Wow. Yum, yum. I told you you should have got the bigger cake. <laughs> you destroyed that. Oh, man. What are you doing? Oh, my God, man. Is that for me? She knows how much I love it. I can't stand to wait for it. <laughs> Good job on the cake cutting. Boodle, it's a, boodle that one too. I think you're going to have to. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have like one of those special cake spatulas that you cut a cake with, so. Yeah. Dunko, you're such a good boy cleaning the table there. Thank you, Dunko. Okay, that concludes the bull fight. Well, we finished the bull fight. You finished your birthday cake. Well, the kids didn't eat much of it. They were kind of full from the rest of the bull fight. But anyways, so what do you have in store for us now? We go to the new road here. Okay, so they graded a new road which is a momentous occasion here on top of the hill. So we're going to take a little ride on the motorbike. We're going to go down and take a look at that. All right, so here we go. Okay, well, I guess that uh, Joan is not going to take us down on the motorbike because she just took off out of here. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, driving down there. I don't know, down this hill on this new road here, and we're gonna see what's down there. We're going to down. This is the road going into town. Shortcut. We call that shortcut. They have a nice view here. What are we looking at? This is so how? Right? Yeah, it's to be good. That's Cebu going there, Cebu. boys was uh, following us down this trail on his bicycle here and uh, she she promised that when we started to go back up that hill that uh, we would give him a ride and we got to the top of the hill and she remembered that she told him that <laughs> 
So she's back there wondering what happened to him. <laughs> there he is. Just, just in time to tell him that we forgot about him. <laughs> he needed the exercise anyways, honey. <laughs> yeah, dog needs the exercise. Oh God. <laughs> I forgot, man. Look, I forgot. Kalimut mo di ko na di ka di ay. She says, "Come on, follow us on your bicycle. We'll give you a ride back when it gets when the going gets." I really forgot. I have when the going bike. gets tough, we'll pick you up. Don't worry, no problem. <laughs> Hi, good. Hi, princess. How you doing? How you been? Good to see you. I thought you guys were going to wait for me. I thought you wanted to film. I thought you needed me to film you guys. Well, look, Mike, we're really not going to need you for that because it turns out that Jovi says that we can't get down to the place where she used to do her wash and get the water. So there's really not going to be any filming. Sorry. Me and Man Man had to go up the hill by ourselves over there. Man Man is not here anymore. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Are you okay, Mike? Welcome to my province. Yeah, this is okay over here. You happy now? You want to stay here, Mike? Is there a place for me to sleep? Yeah, you. I, this is the place where you, where you sleep here. That is that. Okay, well, that's no problem for me. No need air cone. No? Okay. Mike, where are you going? Well, as it turns out, you can walk back. Come on, princess, get in. 